Hey everyone, in this video we're going to introduce the notion of arc length. So arc length. So as the name, a name implies, um, arc length is just the length of an arc. So if we have a curve like this, then the length of this curve is called the arc length. So here is the setup. So we're going to let C be a smooth curve smooth curve given by a vector valued function which we'll call r of t and r of t can have um, two or three components I'll write it with three components so x of t i hat plus y of t that's the second component j hat plus z of t k hat. Then the arc length uh, is given by the following formula. So little s, this will be the arc length, arc length. It's equal to the definite integral from a to b of the magnitude of the derivative of our vector valued function dt. So the derivative of the vector valued function is just x prime i hat plus y prime j hat plus z prime k hat. So when you take the magnitude of that you take the square root and you square each of the components. So it'll be the first derivative of x and this whole thing is squared plus the first derivative of y and this entire piece here is squared plus the first derivative of z and this entire piece here is also squared and it's all under a big square root. So this integral can be super difficult to evaluate sometimes um, so most of the problems we do are pretty much rigged to work. Uh, whenever you take the square root of stuff uh, it's usually pretty hard to integrate. So this is the arc length of this curve from A to B. So arc length from A to B. If you think of it as a curve in space, it would actually be the arc length from the point x of A, y of A, z of A, to the other point, which would be x of B, y of b, z of b. So it's the length of the arc from these two points uh, in space, this whole arc length here. Let's go ahead and do uh, an example. Uh, we'll do an easy one in this video since this is the first video on arc length. So ex means example. And so our vector valued function is given in this case by r of t. And this is equal to, let's try 3t i hat uh, minus t j hat and the interval here will be 0 comma 3 so we're finding the length of the arc over this interval so this is uh, a curve in the plane this is actually just a straight line um, okay so all we have to do now is use the formula so solution so we have to start by figuring out what x and what y are we can write this in component form if it's easier to look at this is 3t comma negative t in component form. And so remember that this is x of t comma y of t. So now we can identify um, x and y in this problem. So now we can see that x of t is simply equal to 3t. It's pretty easy stuff. And y of t is equal to negative t. All right, so the formula Recall the formula says it's going to be the integral from a to b. So here, this is your a and this is your b. So it's 0 to 3. And it's the square root of, in this case, it's just two components. So it's x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared dt. All right, so x prime is just the derivative of 3t, which is simply 3 y prime is just the derivative of negative t, which is simply uh, negative 1. That was pretty easy. 
So all we have to do now is plug it into our formula. So little s is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 3 of the square root. So we have 3 squared plus negative 1 quantity squared dt. So this is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of, let's see, 3 squared is 9, and negative 1 squared is 1. So we get 9 plus 1 dt. For some reason, I got confused there. I almost messed up. This is the integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of 10 dt. When you integrate the square root of 10, all you do is you put a constant next to it, right? Because it's just a constant, uh, put a t next to it, right? So what's a function whose derivative is the square root of 10? The square root of 10 times t, right? So it's just square root of 10 times t, and we're going from 0 to 3. You first plug in the 3 for the t, so you get the square root of 10 times 3. Then you subtract, so you do minus the square root of 10 times 0. But the second piece here is 0, because anything times 0 is 0. So we get 3 square root of 10. And that is the arc length. And that's it. I hope this video has made some sense, and I hope it's been helpful.